What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going back to Curiosity. We're going to check out a Gigapan from Sol 3127. And what's in this pan is absolutely awesome. We're going to check out this so-called mountain and the things that are on it or embedded in it. I want to let you guys determine whether you think this is really a mountain or something else. And folks, I've looked this over much more and I guarantee there's going to be a second part to this, so stay tuned. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, this is it right here. You can see the MSL 3127MR-W. Now, this was put on by Neville Thompson, and you can see right here, June 5th. So we're talking about four days ago, right? Uh, pretty interesting, two point, almost two and three quarter gigapixels. Pretty large photo. Now, you can see a lot of these people had put their own finds in here, as well as little notations you can see right here. Symbols and glyphs cut off uh, or cut inside of a cliff, rather, by Smarty. Okay, what we're going to check out is this hill. Okay, it's got a lot, a of, lot of neat things in here, and I'm going to show you guys. We're going to really, really enhance this, and we're going to see what's really in here. Now, this one here, this is a person named Lacey with a question mark, and so this is there fine. But I do enhance this. There's much, much more in here. Now, also take note of this right here. This looks like a column or something going down. See the straight line right here. So again, they're hiding the lines with color, blur, you name it. There's a lot of interesting things in here. Now, I don't have to do anything to this photo. Check this out. You can see this item right here. What are we looking at right there? Okay. Again, not doing anything to this photo. Some weird looking things up here. We're going to bring this out a lot better. This piece up here. Folks, let's just jump right into Photoshop. This is interesting. Here we are. And it's a little bit better. You can see this right here. A little bit better clarity. Okay, so let's go ahead and take off this puke color. Try to bring this out. You can see this area right there. I'm going to show you the circled areas that I've done of points of interest on this. And just look at the lines that are in here. Just weird, man, like columns and just weird shapes inside this hillside. That's why I'm questioning if this is actually a hillside, okay? We got little things in here. These right here, but also take note of what looks like this wall. Stops nice shop right there and comes down. You guys see that? How sharp that is? What's the chances of that happening on just a random hillside and rocks? Nothing more. Keep in mind, this is also completely censored, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to the full enhancement as well as all the areas I circled of any interest. Let's jump right into that. As you can see, there's quite a bit here, folks. Quite a, quite a bit. Now, let's start from right, go to left. Now, look at the bottom here. Okay. To me, these look like pieces of steel. Is it like a rebar? Is it pipes? You got something right here. Okay. You also have these weird things that looks like it's going off the side of this edge of this, whatever this is. See how, like, there's just weird things going on? And it looks like it's right at the edge. So I'm not sure if this is false, this edge, and there's something else to it. I don't know. It kind of looks like from the way this has all been censored that it could very well be. This area right here. Zoom into that. And we'll just go up here. Just check out some of the way these things are shaped, folks. Look at this. Hmm. And just look at the little intricate parts on it. Like this piece sticking up. Almost looks like a, like a mini barrel or pipe sticking right out of there. See that right there? Okay. Go up here. Check out this feature right here now. You can see this object, whatever this is, doing this. And whatever that is on top, not sure of, but look at all the little intricate parts in here. See that? This piece. Again, they put blurring over certain parts of it and leave the rest of it there. We can see a nice piece right there with some clarity, pretty decent clarity, right? Some of it, it still has the blurring and the color that they overlaid over this, but check out the intricate pieces inside this. Check that out. Doing this, doing this. Just really, really 
cool looking stuff here. Some of these other interesting pieces. Look inside here. Especially this one here. What is going on there? Check this out. Has these pieces hanging out. Not sure what to make of those. We got this piece coming down right here. And you can see the inside kind of echoes the same shape. At least right there we can see that. And at the bottom here. Check this out. Really, really interesting looking parts. Random things on this so-called hillside. What is going on? Let me show you the original to this area. Look at this. You can see that right there. And we've got this piece here. And then, of course, we have these other pieces here. There's one there, which I did not circle. You can see that. And then we got this other piece here. Again, straight pieces coming out of nowhere. Got this piece doing this. This piece coming down like this, going just like that. Not sure what to make of that. That is pretty interesting. Not sure what that could be. Now, some of these things, mm, questionable kind of 50-50 thing on them. Could be pots of rocks. Probably not. Okay. Go down to this area. Check out the little things here. Especially this piece here. This piece right here on the ground. It looks like busted up pots to me, guys. Now, take a look at these. When I said that they would look like columns coming straight down. Notice this piece right here. What are the chances of this thing doing this randomly on a mountain? What are the chances of it, guys? Look at this. Bring out the lighter pots. Make the darker pots even darker. So we can separate the two. Okay. Notice the pieces up in here. For instance, here. And here. Looks like some kind of weird piece coming down. Or something raised off of this right here. See that? Different parts. Look, it looks like busted up parts inside here. And if you can see, we brought this piece out a little bit better. All right, let's just back up a little bit here. Let me show you down in here in the bottom. Again, this is supposed to be nothing more than a mountain, just a simple mountain, nothing there, just rocks, dust, and anything that's probably had fallen off this over the course of years. And we can see what looks like squares and different long pieces. Got something here on the ground. Almost looks like it spider webs off. See it right here? Not sure what to make of that. Now, let's back way out and have a look at this so-called mountain. Again, where you see the arrows, they look like columns of something. We have what looks like plates on the side of this, all right here. You see them as they run along here on the left-hand side of this line. Look at the way these plates look. And then have a look at this area. Guys, no way this is natural. To me, there's some really interesting things in this hillside. And I'm not so sure that it's a hill at all. You know, you look at the little details in this, right down to this little piece down here. And again, the way this thing has this point to it. Two dots on there. This thing literally comes up like this. Comes around. If you look at that really good, it comes up and around. Again, random? Nothing more than rocks? My opinion, no. This area right here alone tells me that's more mechanical than it is natural. Back up a little bit. 
There's the whole photo. And there you go, folks. Folks, what are we seeing here? Is this an actual mountain? If it is, what are all of these things that look like mechanical parts? It could be anything, anything from like plumbing parts to mechanical parts. Whatever these things are, do not look natural. I want to let you guys decide. And like I said, guys, there will be a second part to this because I saw something really interesting. And I think you guys will find it interesting, too. And you will get the link to this Gigapan because when you look it over, you're just going to find all this other crazy stuff yourself because I've seen a lot of things these people totally missed. Why? It's not that they're blind. It's because of the actual blurring and because of the color over everything. And that's the problem. Disguise it right in front of your face. No better place to be hidden, right? Right smack dab in front of you. Anyway, guys, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to like and share. It is always appreciated. You guys know that. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so YouTube will share it. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell on the right-hand side. And when the drop-down box comes down, go ahead and hit all again so you'll be notified of any new videos coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Always appreciated. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.